Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and in this video I tested three methods of getting exotic class items. And I've concluded the best way to farm for them. Three methods. First method is to actually just do dual destiny legit. Second method, you can open, uh, you can run a loop, run around the pale heart, and these chests over here. Oh my god, first one and I actually just got one. What the hell? I'm gonna talk about the drop rates and the chances. Wow, I am that is the luckiest I've been in a long time. My first recording, first take, I just loaded in, found the first chest to get B-roll for my footage, and boom, I got it right there. Method number three is using a script, an auto hockey script that, I, that I'll show you how to set up and everything. Very, very simple, and it will AFK farm it for you. Now, the by far most efficient way to do it is the dual destiny mission. And uh, in order to unlock these other two methods, uh, the better uh, the, 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 the 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 chest method and the AFK uh, hot key method, you're gonna have to do this at least once on each character. So on Hunter, you have to do it once. Blah 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 blah. On Warlock, whatever. Dual destiny is gonna be the best. You, with a good teammate, you can drop this down to like, I don't know, 18 minutes, uh, and it's guaranteed. 18 minutes per run, you both get a drop, so that's basically two per 18 minutes. Most efficient choice. However, some of us have lives. Uh, some of us uh, have homework to do. Some of us don't want to, you know, some of, some of us don't have friends. How about that one? So, I present to you, chest looting. The exact drop rate, uh, tested through multiple YouTube channels, it's flat 2%, flat 2% drop rate. Basically, all you do, you load up here in the landing. If you're already in the landing, fast traveling to fast traveling to this landing, uh, resets it as well. You wait for the world to flash, and then you simply just go go in a circle. Have the, the mod wombo detector on your thing so you can see further. Don't put on a sniper and with that, it's, I think it's slower. And you quite literally just go around, Loot a chest. Nice. It would have been funny if I got two in a row. <laughs> and you quite literally keep doing this. And you just go in a large circle. And as you get more comfortable, you can like really speed this up. You can start using the sparrow technique that I did in my uh, skimmer skating guide or whatever. Like it's if you tap the right click at the right intervals, you go extremely fast. You, you would collect that. You would hop over here, either with a sparrow or a skimmer over here. There's one down there, you would go loot it. And each run of these, and then you come over here, check if anything spawned in the back right over there. Everything's done, and all you do is you go to the map, and you redrop it landing. And then all this loading time and waiting for the next one, one full circular run will take you around five minutes. And the math boils it down to basically having uh, one exotic drop every 20 minutes. Uh, with that 2% drop rate. Of course, it's RNG, but the longer you do this for, the more it looks like the statistics. That's kind of how, like, casinos work and whatever. 20 minutes per one drop, that's worse than the 18 minutes, uh, even with LFG that I said, because it's, uh, well, that's technically uh, assuming that you're taking the other exotic that your friend gets into account. If you don't take that account, then, yeah, it's around 20 minutes all for the Dual Destiny as well. So on paper, the Dual Destiny one is more efficient for getting the most uh, amount uh, of uh, exotic drops out of your time. This one is much better though, because some of us are just watching homework, watching YouTube videos on our second monitor, or listening to music, or playing on our phone on the side. And you can very brain dead, just kind of just like hold W, look around a bit, hold uh, hold E, V, whatever you have, rebound to, interrupt the chest. It's pretty good, not gonna lie, it's pretty good. But by far the best method for everyone Everyone can use this. Why? Because everybody sleeps. <laughs> it's the AFK hotkey. Quite simply, go to this Discord right here. Over here, I'll put it in the description or comment or whatever. I'll bring you to this server. Then you scroll down to tabbed out macros, and you find this one. First one over here or, or, or wherever. And all you do is you download this link right here. It's, it's not malicious, it's just auto hockey. Everyone knows it. You need this specific version. And then you download uh, this script over here. Uh, the, the script that's uh, already uh, up to date. You'll keep the up to date one at the top. Click on it, download it, two simple things. They don't, they, they, there's no chance of it hacking you because there's no like admin or whatever. Then you go into Destiny and you change these uh, eight settings. Most of these won't even affect you. Four of them are controller settings. That's what's so beautiful about this AFK scripting. After you have the eight settings done, I'm pretty sure these first four are optional. It's mainly just the controller settings. I play on PC, so it doesn't even affect my day-to-day uh, -day gameplay. After that, you load up to this place. Uh, after you download the thing, uh, put it on your desktop, and all you do is you double left-click it. And it will download a virtual Xbox controller, basically for you. 
Look at that. Look at that. Or to start from inside the landing. Look how beautiful it is. Now what's beautiful of this, of using controller things, is I can alt tap. Because it's using controller inputs, I can completely alt tap. Go play Minecraft, go play League of Legends. Okay, maybe not League of Legends because the whole Vanguard system, they might think you're cheating and they'll ban you from League of Legends. But you can play something like Minecraft. You can watch YouTube videos. You can do your homework. You can write your essay. You can do whatever. You can work from home, go on that Zoom call and look how it just works for you. However, this is very inefficient. What this is taking advantage of is every time you uh, load up to the landing or just fast travel to the landing and you go to a specific spot and you wait out the flashes of the world uh, spawning in loot uh, three times or something and you hear that sound effect. The chest right uh, to our right over there where that little ghost icon is, that chest is guaranteed to spawn. So it'll do its run, and you'll see it slowly move the the, the, the thingy once once it's over there. Uh, it seems like it's refreshing it once more. And it's very smart. It like the text changes in it, so it's restarting it over here. Look at that. My hands are free. It's using controller inputs right over here, so I could be playing Minecraft on a second monitor or even on this first monitor. I can just alt tab. This could just be in the background. It's gonna perfectly position us with our controller settings. So beautiful. And once the world flashes, it's gonna to go to that chest that is guaranteed to spawn, and it's going to open it, and then it's gonna roll that 2% that I talked about in the other one, right? This is really inefficient. However, this is true AFK. Watch it, it's about to go. And there it goes, look at it. Look at this. It's gonna open it. Please, cross my finger, 2% chance. Aw, oh, man, I didn't get anything. And then it restarts. I'm gonna stop it right there. Controller disconnected. Perfect. Get the point. Now you might be wondering, man, I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna do this, it's, it's cheating. I'm gonna get banned for this. There are multiple, multiple twabs, Twitter, twibs, whatever you wanna call it. Basically messages from Bungie saying that you will not get banned for exploiting an exploit or a bug. You can, if an exploit is out in the game from Cheese Forever and you get a uh, maximum glimmer gla uh, before maximum legendary shards and you ch and, and you bugged out the game to get the crafting and whatever, you will not get banned. There has not even been a single instance that I've heard of that someone got banned from exploiting any type of macro, AFK gain or whatever, XP glitch, item glitch, whatever that. The only people who have actually been banned are PvP cheaters, hackers, and people with inappropriate names in their, uh, what's it called again, in their username. That is the only people who get banned. You will not get banned from this. I've done this forever. And here's the math of this. It's not that great. And also it's while it's running, you can't really check your inventory, so you have to pull up dim. I put this on for 10 hours. And uh, I'm not gonna count one because I got I got one in this video, but that's 10, 10, 11. I went to sleep for 10 hours, came back. Uh, the bot was still running, absolutely no errors. I actually did so I did see one. It was a Pathfinder. If you open the chest and it uh it completes a Pathfinder objective, it bugs out a little bit. But I think in the recent patch of the bot and the script, they they just fixed it. So you guys don't have to worry about it anymore. This takes it up. To, I'm just gonna round down for the sake of a uh, uh, doubt. That's that comes to one exotic class item per hour. That's three times worse than just manually going it down. However, it is true AFK. It is true AFK. While you're sleeping, while the guy trying to do dual destiny actually went to bed, instead of grinding fucking four hours, three hours of hard grinding destiny to super hard LFG finding a guy. I just went to bed for sure a longer amount of time, two days or something. And then I came back with basically <laughs> so many. I got all of this in 10 hours. And the more you do this, the more the statistics lines up with that 2% chance. And the more your statistics will look at mine. You might say, oh, you might get unlucky and say, oh, you went 100 runs and didn't get a single one. If you keep doing it, you're going to get at 100 streak where you got one on every single one. That's just how, I don't know, casino... 
fucking Hell's Edge, uh, how, how overtime statistics hold true. So I highly recommend this. Go to that thing, download this. Nothing is malicious or anything. Quite literally takes two qu two clicks. Put your PC overnight. You'll be glad that you never have to farm stupid chests. You'll be glad you never have to touch Dual Destiny ever again. And you do this over five days, basically one week. You would have uh, gotten over 70 of these cloaks or whatever um, exotics that you have. Even if you run out of space, it goes straight to your Postmaster. And your Postmaster has around 21. So just check in like every day or whatever the specific chance for any specific role is one in 64 so statistics lie after you do this for a week you will get that one god role that you wanted for your specific build whatever your prismatic build is whatever whatever yeah speaking on that here's a hint of my next video stop using prismatic that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm wearing this build right now here's the little teaser for the next video no this will not be patched out no, this will not be fixed. They've never fixed uh, world law sectors or, or public events or chests like that. That chest will always be permanently there. This script will always work. It'll never be banned out. You'll never get banned out. The bot will never stop working. Happy AFKing. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.